Chris Rowe here, Director of Golf, Whispering Pines Golf Club. We're out here on the third hole. How can I get just a little bit more yardage? Because I'm really in between a seven iron here and a six iron. The breeze just kicked up. I don't think seven iron's gonna get there. But I also think six might be a little bit too much. So obviously you can tee it up on a par three. I mean, it's, that's normal. But if I wanted to get maybe three to four more yards, here's an easy way to do it. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna create a little bit of a T, which this is perfectly legal. Now I've almost created a little bit of a flyer lie, which will help the ball go just a little bit further. So you, can, you cannot do this on the golf course, on the other holes, but on a par three, instead of using a T, you can create a T and then set up to it and hit the shot. So let's try this. Typically when I do this, I can, I can squeeze maybe three to four more yards. And this is one of those situations where I need that little squeeze to get to that hole. And I definitely don't want to go change clubs because if the wind dies down at all, that ball's going way too far. So let's try this. I've made my little flyer tee is what we could call it. I'm going to dress it here. Just normal golf swing. perfect distance. So that little move really worked by just getting a little bit of grass in between the club head and the ball created about three to four more yards distance. Now, before we leave here, we want to keep Mr. all of our superintendents with Mr. Decoff happy, who does an awesome job out here keeping this place great. Fill it in, step it down, make it nice for the next person. Try that tip. You might make a hole in one this year.